Hi guys, Re here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and a huge clothing haul video for both women's wear and children's. Now, I would like to preface this whole video by saying I'm not keeping all of this stuff. I have ordered in a whole load of stuff to try on. The majority of the items in this haul are from Next and from Bowdoin. There are some events coming up that we needed some things to wear, the children needed various footwear and I picked up some bargains because I had a discount code that I can't share with you unfortunately because it has expired. Do make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I do try and share codes to my favourite shops and things when I get sent them over there so make sure you're following the little notification thing on you know that you get on Instagram. Anyway without further ado let's have a look at what has been delivered because it's quite a lot. I mean I seriously was not kidding it's loads. I'll be honest I can't even remember what half of this stuff is. Let's start with this one as a lot of this stuff will have to be returned I am going to be sensible and cut it open with scissors. I find if I'm buying something I know that there is one item that I may have to return or I'm buying two different sizes or something it then encourages me to think well if I'm gonna send back a return anyway I may as well order lots of variations. In no particular order let's see what I'm pulling out of this exciting bag. Ooh. Now these are little tulle skirts. I saw something very similar on the Bowdoin website but these are from Next and were just £16. So I got them for both of the girls. I got Zara an age six. I probably would have got her an age five to be honest because she's really petite but they didn't have any age five in stock. And then for Bella they, I got her an age nine. There's no actual price on that one but I believe they're the same price. Sometimes the older girl stuff can be a little bit more but this is the size difference in them between the age six and the age nine and they will be really cute in the summer for the girls. They saw these on the website and were like instantly, oh, mummy, wow, we love them. So it'll be interesting to see what they think of them when they see them in real life. Then to go with those, I got these two packs of t-shirts. I'll open just one of them to show you. So this is a pack of t-shirts. This is the age six one for Zara. Again, I got the age nine for Bella, even though she's eight, she's quite tall. And these were a really good value pack of t-shirts. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven different colours of t-shirts. And I thought that maybe they'd go quite nicely, one of those t-shirts with the ombre rainbow unicorn-esque type skirt. Ah, shoes. Previously, the girls had very sparkly rainbow Lally Kelly type shoes and they wore them to death. They wore them for two summers, they weren't cheap, but they managed to last really, really well until they eventually disintegrated and they grew out of them. Now, I thought initially, right, I'll just get them a pair of those again, but in a recent vlog, I was measuring the children's feet and Bella's feet are size three, which is slightly too big for Lely Kelly's. Unfortunately, I've only seen them go up to size two, two and a half. So I've got a variety of shoes from Next and hopefully one of these pairs will be suitable for the girls. I've got each pair in two by twos. The girls are still quite keen to match. So as long as I can get away with that because I don't think it's going to be much longer, then they can have matching. Um, so Bella has got size threes and Zara has got size ten and a half or elevens, depending on the shoe sizes that I've picked up. We've got these rainbow glittery ones and I believe they, hang on, Oh my goodness, they're gonna go mad for those. Those will be really fun for running around in the summer with just some little trainer liners. Now, alternatively, we've got these. I'm not sure these are gonna be as good because they are lace up. And I think those are gonna be much easier because they're Velcro for chucking on and off, running out the garden, that kind of thing. I will show the girls and we'll do a little try on when they get home from school. But I have a feeling that cute as these are, the Velcro ones are gonna be the preferred option. Then I've literally got two of each, so I'm just gonna show you one of each size for now. I got these pink sparkly ones, which look, I think they're the same style, aren't they, as the rainbow, so it just depends whether they prefer the kind of iridescent sheeny ones or the rainbow glitter. The pink ones don't 
light up though. Maybe they are a bit different. <laughs> I have a feeling they're gonna like the psychedelic lights to be honest. And then I've got two different options of these boots. You might have heard me talking for a while. The girls had these, what they call muffin boots. Um, but I would call them muffin boots for some reason. Um, basically Ugg boots that I bought in Primark, but obviously they were six pounds because they were Primark versions of Ugg boots, not actual Ugg boots. And I've been looking for replacements for these everywhere. So I came across these in Next, which are more like my tan genuine Ugg boots, which I have literally had since before William is born, so I probably do a new pair of those. But these are obviously a lot more expensive than the Primark ones. I believe the Primark ones, which the girls prefer, they'll prefer to these to be honest, because they're sparkly, but they're six pounds. I can't get them anymore. These are 30, but they wear these all the time. They wear them, um, because with this kind of fleecy lining, you don't necessarily have to put socks on if you're just popping them on. Um, so if they're going swimming, if they're going to karate, to dance, they'll pop these tight boots on. They call them muffin boots. I don't know, apparently, because the fluffy bits, like the top of a muffin. I don't know, Bella made it up. Anyway, so those are an option. I got those again in, um, I think I got an 11 because I didn't have a 10 and a half for Zara and a three for Bella. But the other option, I couldn't tell if these were gonna be good enough online, hence why I ordered them. And as you can see, I'm go I've got a lot to send back because maximum, the girls will be keeping one pair of trainer -y sparkly shoes and one pair of muffin boot equivalents. Maximum. I wonder if they'll prefer these. Oh, see, I couldn't tell from the, the website, but cute as these are, they're fluffy on the outside, but like actually like a normal shoe on the inside. So I'll show the girls, but they're gonna need to wear socks with those. I think they want something they can just sling on, especially if we're swimming, whatever. It's just one extra thing to deal with, isn't it, socks? So I do like those, but... Although I think they'll prefer the colour on the pink, they might prefer the practicality on there. Place your bets in the comments now before you actually see the rest of the video to guess which ones they'll prefer. Oh, and then there was another trainer type option. Oh, I do like these. These are really sweet. They've got rainbows on the side. They're adorable, but again, they are lace up. So they are more like these kind of style. So I think they're probably gonna prefer the Velcro, but I do really like those. They're very sweet. They're sort of like a tennis shoe kind of vibe. Um, very cute. I don't know, I'm really curious actually which ones the girls will like. My money's on the light up flashing glittery, to be honest. Then purely for going to karate, swimming, William doesn't do dance. Um, he had a Primark version of these black muffin boots. So he asked for a larger pair of those. So you don't have to wear socks. They don't wear socks in karate training and they can literally sling on the boots to get home. So I will try those on him later too. Now these look like next versions of more like Lely Kelly type stuff. They have got the zip down the side, which the girls really like. So they look like lace up, but you can unzip them to take them on and off. They're not as intricate and as detailed as Lely Kelly shoes, but they are a much better price point. So they've still got a unicorn, they've still got a bit of beading and detail, but just not nearly as much. But then for the price point, I'd say they're quite good. So maybe out of all of them, actually, perhaps the girls will choose these. I'm not sure now. I think it's now gonna be between these more like boot type ones and still the glittery, sparkly, light up ones. And I've got a few bits from Bowden to show you for the children. And then perhaps we'll go upstairs and do a little try on for the items that I've ordered for myself because I need something to wear to this family wedding that we've got coming up. Now the girls and I looked through the Bowdoin website together and these are the ones that the girls fancied to wear to that wedding. They are so lovely. And really, I did want Lely Kelly's to put on their feet, but would, you know, that kind of thing kind of go? Or would I need to get more like a sparkly court sheet for a wedding? Those are really sweet, but I'm not sure we're gonna know exactly how they're gonna look until we try them on the girls. Looks like they've got this little ribbon to kind of pinch it in a little bit, but it's a very floaty dress. Then for Will, again, I thought I could build a wedding outfit around this for him. This is like a button down shirt. He'll look very smart and grown up in that. I don't know what to dress him in for the wedding, whether to get some like chinoey type trousers or a little suit. I don't know, but I thought this lovely white shirt would be a really good place to start. Shoes wise, I really don't know what to get for Will for the wedding. I didn't order anything because I was just a bit stuck. Anyone else really, really struggle with boys' shoes? I think I don't know what I'm gonna need to put on his feet until I decide what I'm getting for the rest of him, whether it's a suit or just smart trousers or whatever. Then the other item I got from Bowden is this, which is the pink version of the top I'm wearing now. I think I also have this in black and in white. It's such a staple basic. 
I just love these tops. They're double fronted, so they don't have like any see-through kind of element. And then they're just like three quarter sleeve and we all know how much I love pink. Okay, let's go up to my room and take a look at the stuff that I got for myself before the children get home and they can try on the options I've ordered for them. Okay, so I have managed to find a pair of black court shoes that won't necessarily be the right shoes for the wedding at least, but at least it's just something to shove on with all the dresses and I can figure out shoes later. First dress I got to try on is pink. It's a pink side knot dress. I'm not sure about this fabric. It feels kind of crepey, but it's one of those ones that I guess I'll have to try on and see how it looks. So this is the first option for the wedding. I love the color. It's a little more, um, I don't know, baggy around here than I anticipated it being. And it's not quite as short as I thought it would be. Um, probably because I am only five foot four and a half. So it's probably a bit longer on me than it would have been on the model in the next photograph. Anyway, as you know, I'm horribly indecisive. So let me know in the comments, is this a contender? I'm feeling that, I don't know, I'm not feeling amazing in it. So I'd love to know which of the dresses I've got to show you should be the one that gets to stay. Then next we've got this, which is like a navy uh, V-neck dress. It's got kind of this ruffly bit down the side of the skirt. It's quite fitted and it's got a bit of a split in it as well, kind of knee length. But what do we think of this one? for a family wedding. And how does it compare to the pink one? It's a totally different vibe. Is this maybe a bit more evening-y? Or maybe if, could I make it a bit more wedding-y with something in my hair? Not sure. So on the face of it, this dress seems similar to the last in that it's navy and it's got like a V-neck. It's not as kind of plunging a V-neck, which perhaps is a bit more appropriate. I think it's quite a flattering kind of gather. It doesn't have the ruffle or the split and it is a little bit longer. I wonder if I prefer this one, or is it a bit too plain and boring? I don't know. I'm so indecisive, I can never make these decisions. Another wedding option, and I'm kind of starting to feel that if the girls are wearing the kind of floaty dresses, which I don't know if they are until I try them on, I may have missed the point a bit here, and all the stuff I've gone for is a bit maybe evening-y, or too bold and bright, whereas perhaps it should be a bit more floaty. I don't know. This one is like a bit more plunging again. I'm just not sure about this material. All the dresses seem to have this funny, like creepy material. This one's got an asymmetrical hem and a little bit of a frill, giving kind of flamenco-y vibes. I just don't know if this is right either. Maybe they all need to go back and I need to start again. Let me know in the comments, which one so far, or just send them back and start again. Now this one, I'm kind of getting Ted Baker kind of vibes from. The fabric is a bit more kind of silky than the others. The others were more creepy, but the skirt has got this big, bold floral print on it. Perhaps this is still not in keeping with the style of the girls. Bowden dresses, all floaty. But does it matter? Do we have to be in the same style? I'm not planning on matching the girls, but it has literally just occurred to me that I've not ordered these dresses with the girls' dresses in mind. The arm, uh, cut away on this it seems higher than the others as well. I don't know if that's relevant. I don't know. I'm not sure if any of them feel right. Let me know. Do you have a favourite? Are there any of these worth keeping? Or do we need to send them all back and start from scratch? And if we're doing that, please let me know what sort of thing I should go for. If you follow me on Instagram, please feel free to send me links to ideas because I'm stuck. The children are home. Um, William has tried the black boots. He is happy with those, they fit great. Um, he hasn't tried the shirts on yet, but we can do that later. So most of this stuff, cause I've got to sort William's wedding outfit again. I still really don't know where to go. Most of this stuff is stuff that the girls need to try on. So we've got a lot of shoes to get through. I've realized there are a couple of pairs that haven't oh, arrived yet, sizing wise. Oh, oh right, girls. <laughs> Which ones are you instantly drawn to? I don't know, I love flash. all of them. They all look if so pretty. Them down, they flash. Wow. Wow. They all look so pretty. See? These well, which, are quite similar to those though. To which ones are you going to try first? 
Um, oh, these. these ones. Oh, really? The pink muffin yeah. boots? Yeah. Okay, I thought you might like those. They're not Looks fluffy nice. inside. I don't care. They I want to like feel the nice. fabric, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Well, okay. try them on then. Try them on. So, girls, of all the shoes, of all those pretty shoes, these are the ones you've, like, drawn well, to no, first. We just, no, we just want to try them on the Yeah, first. but these are really okay. pretty. They are really pretty. Try them on then for mummy. And they have oh. love hearts. Oh, this is just so comfy. They're so comfy, are they, they girls? They look pretty on me. They do look very cute. Um, unfortunately, I thought, well, I was hoping they'd be, like, super fluffy inside like those. Well, They're I not. They're kind care. of fluffy on the outside and fabric. It's fine. So you, you definitely have to wear socks with them. Yeah, they're so comfy. They're, they're just... comfier, then. Um, right, okay, so those are a maybe. Yeah. The Bella-sized version of these haven't arrived yet. Um, so Ooh. Zara, try those on. Take the pink ones off and try those on for me. Can I try those on, please? Yes, because the Zara size versions of those haven't arrived yet. So let's see the ones that you yeah. haven't got each other's <laughs> versions of, because I think they're coming later or tomorrow. And then we'll try on the matchy matchies. That's lovely. Oh my gosh. Oh see, my that God. is fluffier, isn't it? Oh. That's going to be comfier for prettier. you. The pink ones are prettier, but just stick your hand inside that fluffy muffin boot. Well, the one that's not on her foot. What do you think? Oh, it's, it's really fluffy. It's, it's really so fluffy. It's fluffier than her other one. Well, well yeah. Maybe it's the same because. But yours have been worn down? Yeah. True. Yeah, probably. Oh, this one has like stuff inside. Wow. Well, stuff and fluff. <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there's rapaging in there. Ooh, rapaging, a... possibly. Mummy, so there's this little thing. Okay. These are a bit like your Lely Kellys. They're not yeah. actually Lely Kellys, like but they're next version, okay, very we similar. Need to take... Um, this foot seems stuffed. Well, t take the stuffing out then. <laughs> it's this, I think. Okay. It Here's the lace. They have got zips down the side, so once the lace has yeah. been done up once, they, you wouldn't have to do the laces every time. Mm. How do you feel about laces? Pellies. I know you have laces Easy. on all your Disney shoes. Oh. My dance shoes. And your dance, yeah, true. <laughs> what do you think of those? Really comfy. So either I would want one of these kinds of muffin boots. Well, that, that's the thing, you have to choose between yeah. them. But I want these ones. If, if, but, if they're fine enough, then no. But the brown and pink are prettier. Um, but the brown are more comfy, aren't they? Yeah, but, the but pink. those are so much more prettier. But the good thing about these, they can be in the match mummy. True. You can't really check when my toe well, that, you, need to, you need to stand up and do it, that's why. Mm -hmm. do you, what do you think of these? These are quite nice. Oh, yeah, one. those. Can we do the pink shiny ones next? Also, what do you think of these? Oh, they're oh, beautiful. They're so can I try them on? Okay. So I was just tried on this age six skirt and too big. It is too big. They didn't have an age five, but do you know what? I think a four might fit you because that is massive. Too small. Um, what do you think of that skirt, Bells? Perfect. You think it's perfect? So a I nine think it's is meant good for to be you. Quite long because maybe like, just not like all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, not with navy leggings. No. Sort of more with like ankle socks. What do you think of those shoes? I think they go really well with this. Yeah, I must say. You must say. Like they're really rainbowy. They are rainbowy, yes. Now the girls are trying on the dresses from Bowden that I got as possibilities for the wedding. What do you think, girls? Perfect. Perfect. Do you love them? Can we have a twirl? Wow, those are gorgeous. So you can wear those to the wedding, but would you wear them just generally? Yeah. And get yeah. lots of wear out of them? Excellent. So these pink shoes, Zara definitely needs a smaller size. She's measuring a 10 and a half. These are 11s because they didn't have half sizes and wow, so they're huge. So she'd need a 10. Bella, your threes are fine. What's the verdict on the pink shoes? Hmm. Like them? Yeah. But do you like comfy. But do you like others better? I don't know. I think I like these more. Okay, but we need something summery, you see. So I think these are quite comfy. Okay, right. Next pair. Quick, quick, we've got to get to dance. Zara has pointed out that these have got stars on the bottom, which is really cool. Have they? So these also have stars on the bottom, but brown stars. These would also need to be in a 10 for Zara. Stand up for me, darling. Bella, how do they fit? Are they okay? I don't know. Yeah. Do they feel comfy? Yeah, they seem fine. Which ones do you like better? Those or the pink ones better? I don't know. Oh, no, have I given you too many decisions? Um, wedding because they match the dresses more. Okay. But these would be really good for where we're going. Yeah, that's yeah, true. true. This would be good for like anything really. Okay. So 
trying on these now with the pretty soles. Yes, are they going to be too big? But just try them on. Um, and I'll or the ones you choose. I'll order you the correct size. The oh styly like that. Oh, this is good, actually. No, no, no. Bella, what do you think? Come over here. These are quite nice. Yeah. Oh no. oh no. Oh no. What? Too big? Well, you haven't actually done it the laces. Oh. <laughs> but what do you they're think? They're sort of coming out my heel. That's because you haven't done it the laces, aren't they? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe those are a bit big for you. Maybe you need a smaller. Yeah. Those seem a bit big. Hmm. Hmm. But what, what do you think of the shoes? style? Would you prefer yeah, a smaller nice size? Style. Interesting, because the others fit quite well, but those you'd need. A smaller size. Yeah. And you definitely need a smaller yeah. size. So don't, in fact, you don't even need to try them on. But you just I need to tell me. Them on and off, like mm. really. Well, that's no good when they're brand new. No. Go on then, try those. Try those. I think they're gonna be too big. They probably are, but try them for style. Oh. Did you know they flashed when you wore them? Yeah. Yeah. And these are just a quick change. I, I don't know, maybe these would be the most versatile if we got them in the right size. It no. looks like all the shoes are going to have to go back and we'll have Mommy, to get different sizes. I feel like these ones are lovely and these. Which I ones? these have probably made it to the top. Well, I haven't tried these on yet. So, rainbow or rainbow? Oh, well, let's see how comfy it is. Mommy, I think these are really good. Do you? What, you think they actually fit you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What size do I order? Oh, those are in 11 as well. Those are the same size as all the others that were too big for you. Know. Do they? Is it just because you like them and you want to keep them? No, it's actually because they feel good. Right. Oh my gosh. These are a good size too. Do you see if I measure this boat with this? I mean, gosh, these are comfy. comfy. They didn't look too comfy, but they're actually comfy. Do you see? Hmm. Like they're really comfy. So actually you love them all? Well, hmm. I think the top two have made it to the top of probably those two. Which two? <laughs> this and that. Okay, so those... Oh, I really like these two. I don't know. These are lovely though, I've got to say. These are very nice and very Lely kelly -esque. They would be good with those dresses for the wedding, perhaps. Yeah. Boy! They probably oh, do wow. with anything like our Lely kelly so it looks like this decision process is going to be an extensive one. Um, they will be keeping a maximum of one pair of rainbow-esque trainer something and a maximum of one pair of muffin boot-esque something. Deciding is going to be an extensive process by the looks of it. So I'm going to say see you guys in the next video, which you can click on on screen now. Bye!